Hey, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing? It's me again, Sit, with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the ESO dungeon, The Banished Cells. There's a lot of ESO channels out there, but I do honest reviews and speculations of the lore to help people understand it. If that sounds like something you are interested in, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more lore videos to come, and just click the playlist here to see all my previous episodes so you don't miss anything. The Banished Cells is a group dungeon found at the northern tip of Oridon second largest of the Somerset Isles. The High Elves lived long lives and have a talent for magic. Sometimes an Altmer's pursuit of magical power leads to the tampering of forbidden knowledge and illicit dealings with the evil Daedra. It was to confine such trespassers that the banished cells were created. That's what the loading screen tells us. Taking a quick guess here, I would say it's some kind of prison or something. When we enter the dungeon, we can see a quest giver to our right. Apparently he has a hard time because he's being attacked by Daedra Banelings, so let's go save him real quick. Just like all other dungeons in ESO, Banished Cells has its own story which is driven by a quest. The quest can be picked up in the dungeon and completing it gives us a skill point as a reward, which is good. Right next to the guy is a lore book, The Binding Stone. A book about spells that can be used to contain all manner of magical ruling creatures. When we talk to him he has a lot to say so let's just jump into it. They serve as keepers under me, sworn to guard the High Kin Lord's prison for as long as they are able. Find them, and help them if they live. I have not seen them since the Daedra attacked. Araldor is the closest, but if she lives, you'll find her up ahead. The tale is well known in these parts. In his youth, High Kin Lord Rilis was a hero. Instrumental in bringing order to this region. However, Relissa's thirst for power, which drove him to perform great feats, was his undoing. He consorted with Oblivion to ascend to power. Those who stood in his way, he killed, though always under mysterious circumstances. Eventually, those around him saw through his schemes and imprisoned him. Lifetimes have passed. But Relis Relis's pact with the Daedra keeps him chained to Nern, though he is dead. Were it not for the Daedra who freed him, he would be serving his sentence still, until time immemorial. In ages past, the vilest of my people were interred here as punishment. Today, the banished cells contain a sole prisoner, High Kinlord Relis the Twelfth. Relis is long dead. But his Daedric Pact sustains him, and a prisoner he remained, until today. We know now that the cells have been overrun by Daedra. And these damn Daedra have set free the immortal High King Lord Rillis. He explains that the Keepers are bound to guard the prison, and ask you to help the ones you find. The quest directs us to find Keeper Aroldor. She is trapped in a medium sized room, guarded by the Cell Hunter. So our job in this whole mess is to rescue her. I do, though I've seen better days. The High Kin Lord's power has grown. He would not have been able to escape our predecessors as he has escaped us today. We need to go after him. Stay down, Keeper. You're injured. If the others yet live, we should find them. Then deal with Relis, if we can. He has already escaped. I will not suffer further dishonor by losing lives to him. You're ever the optimist. An Altmer should not fear the end, Syrian. I would give the lives of all... ...will rend Tamriel apart if he gets to the surface. And it will be our fault. There is a difference between fearing death and throwing your life away, Araldar. And as long as I lead the Keepers, you will do neither. If the others live, we'll find them. You've helped more than I could have hoped, stranger. Araldar will survive this. Araldar would like nothing more than to confront Relis now. 
but we're not ready. The High Kin Lord can't be killed. Our only course is to capture him. But we'll need a sturdier prison than we've ever had before. Araldar and I will think on a plan to deal with the High Kin Lord. Defeating Relis is pointless if we can't hold him. In the meantime, the area up ahead is under Keeper Varanil's jurisdiction. Even if he lives, he'll need your help. If we talk to Keeper Sirion about our next move, he says he and Araldor will come up with a plan to contain Rillis while you help Keeper Voranil. Unfortunately, before we find him in the large open area with Aelid style buttons around it, we hear the High King Lord warn us. I think he's just being a sponsor because the next moment he sends his minions after us. When we continue into the cells and defeat the next boss, Keeper Sirion will catch up. Just be patient, he's a bit of a slowpoke. Varanil! Haraldor! See to him! By the Empyrean Light, let's hope he lives. Has he been slain? He's not the model of well-being, but he lives. Are you satisfied, Sirian? I'm eager to pursue the High Kinlord. Patience, Haraldor! I need you to heal him, and Imeril is still unaccounted for. We'll need her to face Relis. There's one keeper left, and I worry for her. Imeril guards the area closest to Rillis's prison. The two have a strained rapport. Of all of us, the High Kin Lord would bear the fiercest grudge against Imeril. The sooner you find her, the better. She's in the deepest part of the banished cells. I have conceived the beginnings of a spell to handle Rillis. And we'll need Imeril, if it's going to succeed. There isn't one, yet. I still have details to work out. Just find Imeril, and we may be able to turn this against Rillis. If we speak to him again, he will say that he has begun to formulate a spell to handle Rillis, but it will require Imeril, who is in most danger as she guards the area closest to Rillis's prison. When we defeat the Skeletal Destroyer, we can hear them discuss how to contain Rillis. Stay your tongue, Varanil. You insult your lineage by even thinking it. Does the High Kinlord's fate appeal to you so? We go with my plan and divide his essence among us. He can't escape his prison if he's not whole. 
We're fortunate no one has perished, but I fear my keepers have grown desperate and cowardly. Did you hear Varanil's remark? Use Daedric power? Sacrilegious. We need to get Relis back in his prison before my keepers do something they'll regret. Before he escaped, we kept Relis's soul encased in a single binding stone, passed down by the keepers. For ages, it was his prison. We're going to put him back, but this time, he's going in pieces. It's not as macabre as it sounds. He has no body. I speak of his soul. The Keepers will siphon his essence into not one, but four binding stones, to keep his power divided. He'll hardly be conscious in that state, let alone able to summon Daedra. You have the most difficult task of all. I need you to find Relis and defeat him if you can. Sirion insists on his plan of splitting Relis' soul, dividing it among the Keepers. They had previously trapped Rillis' soul inside a single binding stone, but now the Keepers will split his soul, then rebind him to the four separate binding stones. He gives you the most difficult task though, finding Rillis and defeating him. First you need to get his attention by securing the binding stone that originally held him. In the lost largest room, there is an orange crystal in the center. Defeat the data around it and Rillis will stride out and greet the Keepers. The keepers are afraid to face me. Very well, you'll die in their stead. Haven't you noticed that the pact I've made protects me from death? Ignore his words, Keepers. Begin I'm the separation. I'm not confident this will work, Sirion. <laughs> what are you lot doing? Oh, I do so love to see magic. Is that what this is? This isn't as grand as the spells I learned from the Daedra. But I don't expect much from them. Remember, children, you'll never keep me here of your own accord. Not when the Daedra fight for me. Perhaps you'd fare better if you had Daedra on your side. <laughs> His madness nears delirium. Ignore him, Keepers. Bind the High Kinlord. By the, By the light, light to you, you. The, keepers the Keepers of the, of the Banished Cells, cells hereby, hereby condemn the Resist to Twelve to imprisonment unending. unending. Oh my, it looks like you've won. Old Relis's days of freedom are over, it seems. Oops, this bastard wouldn't be able to speak. He shouldn't be able to achieve coherent thought. We'll have to watch him carefully. The prison's not perfect yet, but we have time, and Relis isn't going anywhere. I'll make sure of it. Thanks to you, Relis will never see Tamriel again. The situation would be dire had he escaped to the surface. You have been a boon to us. We Keepers would have failed our people if it weren't for you. We'll have to continue to refine Relis's prison, but even the Daedra should have trouble breaking him free from four binding stones. He knows the new prison isn't perfect. Rillis shouldn't be able to think, let alone speak. He promises to ensure that Rillis never escapes, and he gives you a reward. Unfortunately, the other keepers don't seem to share Syrian's optimism. So to make a long story short, we just witnessed the ESO version of Prison Break. And who knows, it seems we can expect a continuation on the story cause for me it looked like Rillis knew what was gonna happen, and he was even laughing at the end during the ritual, did you guys see that? So my personal guess is he saw this coming, and he has a plan, and I don't think Sirion is gonna like it. Now let's look at the other perspective. Scattered throughout the dungeon are manifestos of Kinlord Rillis. 
The first one reads, There was a time when I could not hear the words of my masters echo in my ears. I did not know it then, but those were dark times. To return to those days would be like returning to a life of blindness. These are things I can see and feel today, horribly beautiful things, that no other in my kingdom is privy to. With a little time and a little focus, I can perform feats now that will bring the rest of Tamriel to its knees. And what did those foolish nobles do when I, their high kin lord, presented them with this power and the prospect of protecting all of the known world? The fool sealed my magic and locked me in the banished cells. I guessed their purpose when a half dozen guards let me down here at the points of their swords. These were members of my personal guard who have protected me my whole life. And they would see that I live for the rest of my days under the dirt? Full rain, perhaps the kindest of my caretakers in my youth, put a hand to my shoulder as we walked that long flight of stairs down the banished cells. I was beside myself, quivering, and he believed I was afraid. He was mistaken. It was rage that overtook me, not fear. And as I stepped off the last stairs, their sword still to my back, I spun around and released that rage. Full rain died almost instantly, engulfed in a cloud of flame, his screams muted by the roar of my destruction spell. As the next guard leapt over Full rain's burning body, I turned his sword away with a bolt of lightning to the throat, and his weapon slid neatly into the chest of a third guard. It stunned me how warm the blood was. Suddenly my hands were covered in it, and I marveled at the balmy fluid. It was like wearing the finest velvet gloves in the land, and it amused me to no end. The first time since my capture I laughed, I roared! Eventually they sent another contingent of guards to search for the first. By then, I had decided I would stay for a little while. At least, I wanted to see the looks on their faces when they found the bodies of their comrades. The nobles who orchestrated my capture refused to have me slain. Why do they lack the stomach for such work? They would take me from my family and the vocation granted by my lineage? They refused to release me from this banal existence. I've asked them. Oh, I've asked them. I've demanded. I've threatened. I've begged for an end. They will do nothing for me. And in my distress, I turn to the only person who ever truly cared. I hear the master's voice now. And while I don't understand everything he says, I know he has the best interest at heart. And his advice? He wants me to become better, a better High King Lord. He teaches me, and through him I've learned spells that will open a way to the Master, so that my subjects can meet him, can be made better. As the decades go by, guards give way to new guards, and soon all the guards will give way to a new order of keepers, trained in magics to keep me bound here. The dead I have often so begged for has finally come to claim me. The nobles must know that my pact will see that I walk through death unscathed. But I don't despair at living, as I would have years ago. As my mortal body fades, oblivion seeps in, to replace it with a new form, an eternal form. They say the old Mary are long-lived compared to the other races. Soon, I will be a race unto myself. I will outlive the Altmer. The master tells me that, ages from now, he will free me from this so that I might bask in his presence. The first of his new elf people will be complete. That will be a day of reckoning for my keepers, for all of Tamriel. So what do you think? Were they in the wrong to imprisonment in the first place? Or did they have too much power? And was he doing naughty things? Who could this master be, a Daedra? So we know now that he became powerful. And my guess is that the people feared it and that they imprisoned him for it. And I'm not sure if his intentions are evil or were evil. I think he just mainly listens to the call of his master. I think Rillis is a puppet and I'm pretty sure this master isn't a force for good. But those are just my speculations. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more lore videos, click on our playlist on screen now. And if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to keep up to date with the lore videos I post, then hit that subscribe button as well, right next to the playlist or below the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!